Hello class, I'm back to introduce chapter six, continuous probability distribution. So in chapter six, we're going to be discussing continuous random variables. And um, the big thing about um, continuous, ra continuous random variables is they can take on any numeric value um, values. And in the last chapter, we talked about discrete um, probability distributions. And we said that those were things that were into, uh, incremental and the discrete probability distribution focused on things that were counted, whereas for continuous probability distribution, we're going to focus on things that are actually measured. So with this chapter, in terms of measuring, we talked about uh, measurements, it would be measuring weight, recording flight time, or the amount of time um, that someone would spend standing in line. These are all things that can be measured and can take on any numeric value, value and that there's an infinite number of possibilities of what the measurement could be. And because there are an infinite number of possible times, um, the probability of one specific time or incident occurring is theoretically zero, right? So for a continuous um, probability distribution, we're going to look at, if I were to say the probability of X being exactly equal to whatever, that would be zero in this particular fun, um, situation. And we're also going to cover three different types of continuous distributions. One is the normal, normal probability distribution. And once we get past this chapter, we are going to focus almost solely on normal distribution. The second is exponential. And then the third is uniform. So this is just a, a quick introduction of what we're going to be talking about for this particular chapter. And then I have a series of video, videos to follow that focus on normal, exponential, and uniform distribution.